The West Indian manatee, Trichecus manatus, is the largest surviving member of the order Sirenia. The Sirenians, also known as sirens or sea cows, are the only extant order of marine mammals that are exclusively herbivorous. They are believed to have a fossil record leading back to around 50 million years ago. Their closest relatives are the elephants. In fact, manatees still have toenails on their flippers. There are only four species of sirens remaining, and they're all at least moderately endangered. The dugong, the West African manatee, the Amazonian manatee, and the West Indian manatee. The Sirenians are legendary for being the source of confusion for forlorn sailors as the mythical mermaids, though this is more likely attributed to the dugong rather than the manatees. Amusingly though, there's debate whether the legend is true or a later construction resulting from manatee and dugongs being included in freak show specimen tents as Fiji mermaids. The West Indian manatee is typically only found in the Caribbean Sea and is adapted for living in both fresh and salt water, allowing them to be found in shallow rivers and estuaries. They have low metabolic rates and lack any insulating fat, restricting them to the tropics and subtropics. There are two species of the West Indian manatee, the Florida manatee and the Antillean manatee. The Antillean manatee tends to be found in the lower Caribbean very sparsely. The Florida manatee is found predominantly in the United States. They typically winter around Florida, though during the summer they can be found throughout the Caribbean and even up the east coast all the way towards New York. Research on the Florida manatee has been extensive. Threatened by extinction at a time, studies have allowed us to learn quite a lot about them. The predominant cause of death for the Florida manatee is collisions from watercraft and commercial vessels. This can easily kill the manatee, or at least scar them or injure them greatly. One seldom finds manatees in the wild without visible scarring from boat props. Temperament-wise, manatees are very relaxed, calm. I've had a chance to snorkel with them in the wild. You're not allowed to approach them, but if they approach you, well, you can do what you want. And they're best described, really, as underwater dogs. They're very friendly. They look slow, but they can do quite a few underwater maneuvers. They have no natural predators, and so are rather curious and have no territorial sense at all. They're very sweet animals, really. They love getting scratched, and they like being pet, though it really varies from manatee to manatee. Their population was quite endangered for a while, still are rather quite endangered in fact, but the Florida manatee has been rebounding, though they are still very much at risk. Sirenians, or sirenes I suppose, are very at risk to temperature change in the water. It's thought that a lot of the sirenians went extinct due to the rapid end of the ice age and the temperature changes that resulted which combined with boating traffic can cause their population to rapidly plummet. The good news is, recent regulations has caused their numbers to rise again, and they are no longer listed as endangered, but rather as vulnerable. Still very protected though. If you ever have a chance to be in Florida during the winter, you should definitely consider finding a hot springs or other hot water source with access to the ocean chances are there will be massive amounts of manatees there just seasoning it. Electrical power stations are popular due to the warm water outwash they put out, and you can sometimes find hundreds of manatees at a time there on cold days. Very fun. <laughs>